72 hours, goddamn, I'm feeling late. Damn, I'm in the face of my mind. Let's look at that cloud nine in this line. It's never on vacation. Start up that mind. Yo, what's going on guys? Warcrux here. Hopefully you guys had a good Thanksgiving. Trying to make Magic DK great again. This is going to be my third and last build video for the Magic DK. I'm going to keep it super short and sweet. This is Light Armor, running Malakanth, running two damage sets, and then the monster sets. Kind of what you guys want to run. It's entirely up to you. It's your build. Copy it, paste it, change it, do whatever you want. Here's the stat sheet. Everything completely unbuffed. Fully buffed. You have 5k spell damage. Need I say more? Running Atro, depending on what monster sets you use, you will change this to compensate. Be with Sugar Skulls, I'm dumber for the extra stamina because I'm running only one tri stat glyph. You can run more if you would like more tankiness. I would not recommend it. Creatures around 2500 where I like it. Back bar, spell resistance to go up to damn near 30k with a blood spawn. Physical resistance to go up to damn near 27k with blood spawn. 38% spell crit on the back, very important for our coag heals. Hop right into the sets, not gonna waste any time. I will have you guys know I got plenty of hate mail on this build, so uh, if you want to be really toxic in open world, this is what you do. So we're running Void Caller. My chat actually hinted for me to run this. I didn't want them to know I already had it set. Now I've run this off stream. Disease enchantment for the Befal effect. So the healing reduction is further reduced charge to apply burning, which helps your combustion passive. You get a lot of regen from the combustion passive loss sustain. Here's two, three, four piece, five piece. Whenever you take damage, you get a stack of spell damage. This is just like the old constitution passive. Upon reaching 20 stacks, this duration can no longer be refreshed, but it lasts for 10 seconds, so you don't have to worry about refreshing it. Back bar running, burning spell weave, running an ice staff. You guys can run sword and board. I use ice staff just so I keep my weapon damage proc up, which helps with our healing and also damage because it increases our spell damage. Defending because you desperately need it. The blocking really helps. You will not get away with running Resto Staff on a Light Armor build. You will get squished. On the back bar, since it's on our back bar only, we do benefit from the Spell Crit, which really helps with our Coag kills. This gives you around 500 spell damage on a 12 second cooldown with super high uptime of 8 seconds. So everything's fully procced on your back bar. Swap to your front bar with your Void collar procs with continuous attack like I said or 5k spell damage I can't proc it here to show you guys because there's nothing around to attack me take my word for it you go to ESO builder put in all your numbers all your math it'll do it for you the numbers don't lie last set we're running trainee this doesn't need to be training obviously you need sturdy so ideally you want 2 in pin 5 sturdy we're running 5 one, 1 to maximize the endonum passive on the jewelry you want all spell damage if you're running blood spawn, straight blood running blood spawn, strip all spell damage, change the astro to spell damage because between the pots we're using, which are uh, the most OP pots in the game for a mag DK by far, is the uh, heroism pots. You make this by Dragon's Blood, Dragon's Rim, and also Columbine. This gives you uh, minor heroism on top of you know major endurance, all the other shit that you need for the mag DK. But with Blood Spawn and those pots, you literally have your ult like every 15 or 20 seconds. So spam, leap off cooldown, you'll never, ever, ever, ever have a sustain issue. So this is the tanky approach. If you want to go tanky, you know, whatever. Now, if you really want to go dick mode, okay? Also, Malakanth, also spell damage. Like I said, now if you really want to be an asshole, you're going to use Valkan Scoria. This shit hits hard as fuck. I've never... This It's incredible. In this, in this, every five seconds, I swear I see this shit prop back to back to back. You have five dots on this build at any given time, so the, the up time on this is really high. You get spell penetration from this. This is also bolstered by Malakanth. This is also bolstered by Engulfing Flames. Also, our spell pen is super, super fucking high, so this shit hits like a truck. In open world, I'm hitting five to six K Scoria procs every five seconds. It's disgusting. It really is. The, the amount of burst just comes out of nowhere. Rain Scoria is incredible. Now, like I said, if you want something a little more tanky, a little more sustaining oriented, go with Blood Spawn. If you go with Scoria, you have to run Atro. You're just going to run as sustained issues you are, even with the minor arrows and pods, and you spam me leap off cooldown. Go into the skills. Engulfing Flames is, makes everything do 10% more damage. AoE Dot. Keep burning up as many people as you can. 
to spam this a couple times that we do actually benefit from the uh, maximum 10% bonus damage taken here. Current value says 9, but this goes well over the value, you know, for 10% more damage. Fossilize, degeneration, this is a hefty hitting dock just by itself. Everything completely unbuffed, fellas. Look at this tooltip. Okay, keep in mind this is light armor, so you get the spell pin for this to do even more damage, 10% more. Fully buff up, this goes up to almost 14k. And that's not even considering the, the, the power lash proc, okay? And then the healing from this is over the two seconds, you see a 14.6. This goes up to around 18, 19k heal over two seconds with everything proc. It's fucking disgusting. The reason we have flame lash not molt whip is so we can keep our pressure up on our front bar. You want to stay on your front bar as much as possible to proc void collar. If your stacks fall off, it's whatever. Just go back and reapply it. But this is so we can stay on the offensive longer. And on a DK, you know as long as you're on the offensive, you'll never run into sustained issues. When you start backpedaling on your back bar and spamming wings of coag, that's when you run into sustained issues. I shit you not, guys, in open world, my coag heals, not even with void collar procs, I'm getting 15, 16k crits from this bitch. And that never happens. That never fucking happens. But with this build, you're pushing so much spell damage the, the, the heals just counteract the, the lack of tankiness it, it's incredible I mean you're not that squishy I mean even with score you got 22k physical resist and you know high staff you can block so it's really not that bad other skill burning embers keep this up on as many people as possible it's a very impressive dot you reapply this to heal it applies burning as soon as you use it leap this hits like a fucking truck I've hit people for 11 12k leaps without critting I mean, granted it's malacanth but <laughs> it's it's incredible I, I i've never seen like like going forward i'm running all dk builds like this like fuck the tanky and it's fuck just sitting there getting welded on you just jump in delete someone get out jump in delete someone get out that's this is the way caught around in the back bar this used to be a dog shit heal i mean it's still pretty dog shit but since we're pushing 5k spell damage, this heals you for a fuckload. Plus, it gives you crit on the back bar for your coag crit heals. And obviously, coag for your oh shit button. Jack and fire scale, this also hits like a fucking truck. Since you're a little squishy and not running heavy armor with this build, you definitely need wings uh, to deal with snipe spammers and sorks with overload and yada yada. You guys know the drill. If you do feel like you need a little bit more tankiness, you can run the Lady Mundus as well. That gives you like around, you know, like another 3,300 physical and spell resistance. Entirely up to you. Volatile armor. This applies an AOE dock. You know, this helps proc Scory as well. Gives you major resolve. Does a pretty decent amount of damage, especially against melee folk. And then Ellie Drain. Like I said, sword and board. If you're running sword board in the back bar, you put Ellie Drain on the front bar where Dejin goes, and then Dejin where Ellie goes. Last skill, Temporal Guard. This got nerfed a little bit from 8 to 5%, but it's still a pretty nice mitigation. Plus, the only time you kind of want to use it, you don't want to use this like at all. 99% of the time, you don't want to use this ability. Except when you're like jumping off a cliff or something to, to really break up groups of people. You never want to use that fucking ability because you don't get any of your resources back from using it. So, it went over the potions, sets, traits. I do believe I'll go through them one more time here just for you guys. You will get a lot of fucking hate mail for this. I apologize ahead of time. A lot of fucking hate. I had so many people crying yesterday on stream. It was, it, it was pretty hilarious. CP trees. I'm not max CP on this account, so you do have 20 points in each uh, tree to play around with more than I have. There's an argument to be made to put more points in the L4, and even though we can't crit damage, we can still crit heal. Uh, it's up to you how you want to play it. 66 Mastered Arms, Staff Expert, 37, Thaumaturge, 66, Resistant, 30, Light Armor, Thick Skin, Ellie Drain, or Ellie Defender, Hardy, Expert Defender, 37, Recovery. Now, you need points into Hardy. Uh, I would actually, uh, if you're unfamiliar with DK or kind of new to it, I would put take points out of Ellie Defender and thick skin and just toss him to light armor focus and hardy just to maximize your physical resistance because every now and then if a glass can stand warden comes in with a spin to win uh subterranean salt build dawn breaker you're going to die if you don't block it it's just the way it is okay next 
56 Warlord, 1 in Siphoner just for a debuff that has to be cleansed. 43 Arcanus, stack the rest of your points into Defile, Tumbling, Shadow Ward, put all the points into Defile that you can. This is a very busted CP tree with charge. You have Defile up literally 100% of the time because you have a disease enchantment on your front bar on your DK. So every time this disease proc goes off, you're going to be inflicting with them to foul, reducing their healing by a fuckload. So this is how you keep up your offensive pressure, on, especially on Templars and all the stamina rally, you know, heals, you know, whatever. So I kept this build short and sweet. If you guys didn't know how to make the potion, I don't know if I already said it, it's Dragon's Brim, Dragon's Rim, wait, Dragon's Rim, Rim, R-H-E-U-M, whatever it is, Dragon's Blood and Columbine. A little pricey, but it's well worth the pots. And that's pretty much it for the build, guys. Hopefully you guys had a really good Thanksgiving. Or got some of those extra pounds from the ham and the turkey. And I will catch you guys in the next one. By the way, do not take this in the BG. You'll get shit on. Later.